Hi, this is Igor. As a finishing artist, I often need to add things into shots, like these birds, for example. And it's my responsibility to advise the client whether or not we should stop and send a plate out to VFX, or we can do it right in Resolve, right in the session. And these birds are definitely an example of a thing that you can do right here in Resolve. This subject is slightly on the advanced side, but don't be scared by that. If you follow the steps, you should be able to do this just fine. I will break this tutorial into two parts. In the first part, we'll learn how to build a bird, and in the second part, we'll do the flock. Before we start, I also want to mention that I write apps for Resolve, and you can check them out at metafide.com. So let's see how we make birds. I will open the effects library, type in Fusion Comp, drop it on the timeline, and click on the Fusion button. That will take us right in. In Fusion, we'll add a 3D shape and drag and drop it into our viewer. I will also switch to a single viewer mode and shift this over to the right a little bit so you can see this a little better. The shape starts with a square or a plane. We'll turn on the wireframe, decrease the subdivisions and uh, change the dimensions. We'll build the wing first. So let's make it wider and we'll add some subdivisions. Maybe Let's do eight subdivisions. If you hold both Alt key and the middle mouse key, you can rotate around. We'll put our wing flat on its side by rotating at minus 90 degrees around the X. With the shape selected, I'll hit Control Space and add Bender. I'll drag and drop the Bender into the viewer. Switch the type to Taper along the X. If you change the amount, see how that's tapering off the plane. So we want to make the wing a little narrower at the tips. To accommodate that, we need two benders. So I'm going to Control C and Control V paste this bender. The first one with F2, we'll rename it and say Bend Left. And the second one will be Bend R for Bend Right. So see, if I do this on the left and I do that on the right, I can bend it. But see, unfortunately, there interacting with, with one another in a difficult to control way. So there's a better way to do this. I'll select Bend L and pin it down and open the right bend. So we have the, the Bend Right, Bend Left. I'll right click on the amount, create an expression, and pick whip this to the amount of the other node and change this to a negative amount. So now these two parameters are moving in unison except that one is positive, one is negative. And now I'm going to add another bend, drag and drop. And this one is going to be called wing curl. And while I'm at it, I might as well re rename this shape to wing. I'll unpin that original bend. This is our wing curl. We need to bend this around X. And see that? Now the wings are flapping. We can animate this in the graph, but there's a better way to do that by using expressions again, and we'll use a sign function. So we'll say sign of time, which is uh, the timeline time. It's doing it, but it's a little crazy. It's a little, little out of control, right? So we have to decrease the frequency and the amplitude of the sine wave. So the frequency should be w inside of the parentheses. So I'm going to decrease it by four, we'll divide this by four. So this will make it slower, but it's still, the wings are still curling way too much. And the amplitude we set outside of the parentheses, I'll divide it by 6. That's not bad. Even though we're building a very low polygon, low resolution bird, this wing flap still looks like it's bending sheet metal. I want to articulate it a little more. We'll add Displace 3D, drag and drop it, and we'll switch to two views. With Displace selected, I'm going to create a re rectangle mask, pop it right there. I'll zoom out here a little bit with the middle mouse click. So the way that this place works is it's using the luminance values of the rectangle to modify the geometry. In the interest of time, I'm just going to copy from a similar project I have open in standalone Fusion and paste. We'll delete this node and connect these two. 
just so you can see what's going on is I have just two stripes on the left for the for the left and the right wing. Cool. So now there's articulation, but I also want to vary the amount of this displacement. So for that, we're going to go back to our wing curl. I'll pin it down, click on the displace, and for the scale, I'm right-clicking, selecting expression, and pick whipping that amount. And we have to make it negative again. It looks like uh, we should probably make it a little stronger, so let's increase the amplitude by two. Not bad. So now we have a little bit of a little bit more articulation in the wings, so it doesn't quite look like sheet metal. And now we're going to build the rest of the bird. I will add another 3D shape, and we'll make it into a cylinder. Turn on the wireframe, add the caps to the top and bottom, and make it smaller. If you hold down Control key, you can get finer adjustments. To combine the wing and what's going to become our body of the bird, we need a 3D merge. It doesn't matter in which order you connect the objects. So I'm going to reduce the subdivisions to three to get a triangular shape. We'll rotate this minus 90 degrees, make it bigger, move it to the back, and I will rotate it 30 degrees along the z-axis. Okay. Control space will get another bend. We'll taper the Z to make the front a little thicker than the back. I know it doesn't look much like a bird, but believe me, in the distance it'll be fine. So now we need a tail. With Merge 3D selected, I will click on another shape. Before we go much further, let me just rename this to trunk, although I'm not sure if that's what, what it's called in birds, but uh, that's the body without the wings. This will be the tail. Okay, turn the wireframe on, reduce the subdivisions, maybe half the size. Let's push it to the back, and we'll rotate it. Minus 90 degrees, and 45 degrees here. We'll go a little smaller still. And that's the tail for our bird. Now, as the bird is flapping the wings, I wanted to go up and down, and that we will do using the translation controls in the Merge 3D node. Of course, we'll need our sign function again, so I will pin down the wing curl, click on Merge 3D, right-click on the Y, go to the expression, pick whip the sine wave. But we need to make that negative amount and now the bird is bobbing up and down the right way, but maybe it's a little bit too much, so let's divide that by two and see if we like that bob a little better. Okay, so it's just a little more gentle, that's good. Now, I also want to change the rotation of the bird a little bit as, as it's bobbing, and uh, we'll do that with the X rotation here. So we'll right-click, set expression, pick whip our sine wave, and multiply it by a good amount, maybe 10. Let's see how we like that. Not bad. So the bird is sinking down a little bit and tilting down and then raising up. Let's take a look at the amount of polygons. This is a very low poly thing, kind of like a very primitive video game thing, but it's it, it should be more than enough when the bird is far in the distance. Maybe we have too many polygons here. Let's see if we go to the wing. I'll unpin this so it's a little clear what's going on here. We have eight subdivisions. Let's see what happens if we have six. And six looks like a winner. If we zoom out and hide the ground, we can kind of see that this is starting to look good. Uh, maybe to take a better look, we can render this. Drag it over. We're looking straight onto the bird. There's a couple of ways to fix that. I'm just going to add a 3D transform node. and make the bird smaller. We can get rid of the checkerboard. And that is our basic bird. In the next tutorial we will take this bird and make a whole flock. Thank you for watching.